Dun da da dum, da 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 dum, dum da 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 dum, dum 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 da 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 dum, dum 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 da 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 dum. Hey guys, McNerns here, and we're back on spending. Ah, today we're gonna be sort of discussing about a how to basically become like how to become like a pro at bending if I said it how to like become like really good at bending like one of the first steps of like like how to be a bender is to pick your dang element pick it pick it and pick it wisely try like picking one that might reflect on your personality like, that's what I did for my first element, which would be fire. And no, I did not choose fire because I was a hothead. I chose it because I was like, I like to strike fast, I like to strike fast and kill my enemies faster. And fire bending is basically about fight, like attack at speed, so yeah. That's kind of reflected upon my soul. But anyways, once you like pick your element or whatever, like, and since you're new new to that element, you gotta you gotta remember. Wait a minute, I'm new to it. How does this even work? Well, one you could check like slash b help for a like, certain move you wanna know how to work, or like if you already know how the moves works, but if you just like wanna test it on something like not a player. Like I suggest, I suggest like going after mobs because when you're new, when you're new to like bending here, when you're like new to a specific element, uh, I suggest not to engage in combat. Yes, do not engage in combat if you are new, because uh, it's most likely gonna be suicide. Yes, you heard me correctly. It is not a very good idea. When I was when I was like new here, little fun fact, literally it didn't take me that long to figure out like, everything out. Because I kinda followed these steps. One, I kinda practiced on my, my bending on mobs. Two, stayed away from spawn ish. Three uh, three, I sort of had a buddy to help me with. Had a buddy to test things on them. It's okay. The best way to train is, well, to either fight mobs or train with, with another person. One that is not willing or trying to kill you. Yeah. Also, Quick note, if you're trying to, like, one of the, if you're trying to, like, focus on, like, air bending or stuff like that, like, the best way to train would be, well, <laughs> to train with skeletons. If you're, like, if you're, like, speedy, like, with, depending, like, on your element, it's always a good idea to train with mobs, as I said earlier. But the best way how to do this is to train with skeletons, because... They shoot projectiles, right? And most of the bending is projectiles. Literally, like, 90% of the bending is projectiles. So skeletons are are good training. Are a good test dummy. If you could, if you could do easily dodge them at, like, blink range, you're set. You're so set. If you're able to dodge them, like, very closely, yeah, you're set. If you're able to dodge them, like, Long range easily, like it's very easy. Yeah, you're set as well. But if you can't do all that, that's why the skeletons are there for. You just practice with them for a little while until you get the hang of it. After that, you, if you have a buddy or something like that, ask them to try not to kill you, but to do some of their attacks. Also, yeah, this kind of applies to. 
Like, this little training routine kind of applies to, like, everyone. There's some attacks that, like, you can... Like, you cannot really, like, escape, escape from, like, that easily. Such as Spirit Beam. Like, those are incredibly hard to dodge. Even Avatars have a hard time dodging them. Or... Or what was that other one? Crud, forget. Or Shockwave. That was the one that I kind of forgot. Even though it was in my thing. Look, Shockwave. Yeah, it affects like a whole area. Let me just quickly re exit and relock. Yeah, Shockwave affects like a whole general area. And as we know, it can cause like... Like Fire Blast is my close range-ish but very effective like between like it's kind of a cross between close range and between like the middle of close range and long range not too close but that's why you got like fire punch or, or certain others such as crap what's that move flame ring or something ah crap forget that because I've done it in a long time or there's some, or if you're air, and let's see, what other moves can air do? Yeah, they could do suffocate. They have to be really close to you though. Plus, they have a really limited range on it. You could, you thing is, if you're being suffocated, yeah, the only moves that you could do is like fire blast, water manipulation, earth blast, and air blast. Which sucks. The only way how to get out of it is either get out of its range or somebody cheap blocks them. Nobody really likes suffocators anyway, so yeah. Also, if you're if you're new to like if you somehow like got Avatar or something like that, and if you're new to it, um yeah, first do not just be like uh don't be stupid and go up against every avatar like that. Because, again, that is suicide. Just plain suicide because they're more experienced. And don't go after, like, highly experienced players like Afari. Like, some other friends of mine because they literally, like, they're not, they're, like, non-avatars and they literally killed a couple. Yes, you've heard me correctly. Non-avatars can kill avatars. But it's just very difficult for them. And again, when you're new to Avatar, I suggest you I suggest you read your newfound powers and also slash B add all the elements. And pick out like certain sets of moves. Maybe mine, because mine is actually like pretty decent and balanced out. Because these moves like have ability like have are able to like Attack, counter, escape, or defend myself, or immobilize people if I want. Such as with Frost Breath. I could just freeze people. It's best, again, as I said, it's best to pick moves that are balanced out with each other. So it's easier to, well, fight. Because let's say if a guy's like chasing you and if you're an avatar, just freeze breath him if you want. Then run away. But I suggest you not do that. That's kind of cowardly. Or freeze breath them and fire, spam fire blast. Also, be very wary of the avatar state. If you're new, if you're new to avatar or if you're new as new period... Yeah, avatar state is the one that increases like the avatar's strength. It may not look like it, but really it gives you like four buffs. The speed, the the, the jump buff would be from like air bending. But anyways, normally it would be speed, resistance, healing, and fire resistance. But jump boost. Anyways, in the avatar state, pe avatars can easily spam attacks. It's very normal for them to do that, so be very wary. And anyways guys, if you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. And comment down below saying if you find this very helpful or not. 
and goodbye.